In 2018, a graduate student in my lab, Lindsay Soleil, published a study in the journal Nature showing that forward movement is associated with a suppression of the fear response and an activation of what you could call the courage or confrontational response. And forward movement triggers the release of dopamine through a, a collateral connection to the nucleus accumbens for the aficionados. So what does this all mean? This means that forward movement reduces our anxiety at a basal level. Getting out and running and getting or biking or swimming in being in self-generated optic flow, and it has to be bodily movement. Driving won't do it because when you're driving, you're not doing these lateralized eye movements. So self-generated optic flow reduces anxiety. Every animal, including humans, has a mechanism by which when we're in forward movement, we suppress threat detection in the amygdala, which leads generally to pausing, freezing, or running and retreating. Okay. Now, there is a discovery that was not made by me, but it was made by Francine Shapiro in the late 80s. She was actually in Palo Alto behind Stanford University taking a walk and realized that during that walk, her feelings and perceptions around a troubling event, she never described what that event was, were reduced. She brought that to the clinic. She was a clinical psychologist and had people literally sit eyes open and moving their eyes from side to side while recounting traumatic events. And her success rate in dealing in treating these traumatic events was quite high. It was called over time EMDR, eye movement desensitization reprocessing. And that over time uncoupled the trauma from the feeling of discomfort. Now, my colleagues in psychiatry tell me that EMDR works best for single event traumas or traumas that are, occur multiple times but are, are kind of of the same signature. EMDR is, as far as I know, is one of the few behavioral practices that's board certified for the treatment of trauma. The eyes are controlling our internal state and movements are controlling our internal state. Viewing sunlight in the morning wakes up our brain and nervous system by way of cortisol secretion. It sets a timer for melatonin secretion to come on late in the evening. The eyes are doing all this and you say, well, why would the eyes do this? But we can't forget, and now this really takes us all the way back to the beginning, the eyes are central nervous system. The retinas are not connected to your brain, they are brain. There are two pieces of your brain outside your skull. In fact, they're the only pieces of your brain outside your skull. They are pieces of brain that were designed to see objects, yes, but fundamentally they were designed for us to set our internal state of arousal or calm. And that I think holds tremendous power for not just treatment of trauma or circadian biology, but one thing my lab is very actively pursuing is the extent to which vision can impact our internal states and how that might be leveraged for mental health and mental disease.